Just because you're in a holding cell doesn't mean you don't get the nice wooden floors. Right? Right. Hello and welcome to another video here in Prison Architect 2. I'm Rose and we're going to continue the series that was started a few weeks ago where we're taking Prison Architect 1 prisons and converting them into Prison Architect 2. Today we are going to tackle the OG from Alpha 15 to now version 0.92 which was originally posted October 27th, 2014 by the lovely Crunchy here. What's fun about this prison is that Crunchy continued to update it over the years. In fact, the last update was August 19th, 2022. So that's a grand total of eight years of updates on this prison. And granted, it doesn't have the final few patches, including the sunset patch, the final patch for Prison Architect 1, but it has a lot of really cool stuff. And so I'm going to be taking this lovely, lovely organized prison and converting it into Prison Architect 2. Now as discovered in the previous video, some things we just cannot translate correctly or the same way. One thing you're going to notice is the shower heads on top of the toilets, which cannot be done in Prison Architect 2. Also there's door servos, which is actually not necessary anymore. If you pull up Prison Architect 1 and play, your cell doors automatically open and close. Also we have morgue slabs here in the infirmary. <laughs> So th there's some little interesting tweaks and things that we're going to have when converting this, but I am ready to get started. I hope you are too. And here we are in Prison Architect 2 in Reservoir Pass, which is actually the smallest map here in Prison Architect 2, both in terms of the original starting area and in terms of the whole map, which we do have all unlocked because the save is a little tweaked. It has a number of bureaucracy things, un upgrades unlocked already. It has a good amount of cash. We've got no workers at all. And we are going to jump right into building the OG, which things are gonna be a little different as I've discussed. This won't be as much of a one-to-one -one as we did with the last map. In the OG, in Prison Architect 1, there are 61 cells over here, 61 over here, 73 and 73, sorry, 71, and then another 17 kind of stick out here. That's a lot of cells, especially because in terms of room sizes in Prison Architect 1, this would be the room size, the four by five. We need to go even bigger, five by six, in terms of the exterior. And so we're gonna be building up. We're going to put a lot of our cells up. I was thinking we'd probably do, instead of 61, uh, all on the ground floor here, we're gonna do like 20 and then another 20 and then another 20. So we'll have three floors of cells. And then also another big difference is there are a number of sniper towers in the OG. We of course don't have like placeable object sniper towers. We have full on guard towers that we can either build or we can use these placed ones. And they're quite a bit bigger because they've got entire staircases inside of them. So we're gonna be using those. Another thing that's important about this map is while it is the smallest one here in Prison Architect 2, it is the closest in terms of setup to what you get in Prison Architect 1 in the fact that there's a little sliver of land over here, there's a road. All right, so right now we're just doing some basic math to figure out the entrance and the layout here. We're going to have perimeter walls that are too wide right here. Then there's kind of a walkway down to utilities, which does not appear to be indoors, but there's a perimeter wall on one side. So we're gonna pretend it's outside. Um, and then we don't have reception. So this is gonna be intake here. This is gonna be a guard tower. There's a staff room right here, which is nice and handy because it's gonna be close to all the worker stuff. And then we have the start of cells over here, which in the original prison, there are two rows, but we're not gonna have all the cells on the first floor. So that's okay. We're only going to do two and then come down. So it's gonna be a little narrower, but we're gonna go tall instead. And then this can be visitation, which visitation booths are two by three, and we're gonna have a two-way walkway here. So if we had the visitation booth, that would be right there, correct? Let's grab one. So it's gonna look a little crowded, but it, it's okay. And that's actually perfect. We can actually make this just a little narrower. And then we've got reception there, and then our cells actually line up perfectly, starting from here. So in the original prison, there are six cells over here. And I think we're gonna actually have six, well, six rows, I should say. There were four in each row and we're not gonna do that. But we're going to get these placed and then we'll figure out the rest. Because one nice thing is that this side and this side kind of are mirror images of each other, essentially to a degree. And then this area and this area. Thank you. 
what we should have would be a walkway across here. You know what? We'll do the metal one. We don't want to do this way because while it looks cool, the cells would open the top. So actually, I think we're going to do the... We're going to make it like an actual stairwell. The OG had about five power stations. We likely only need two here. So we're going to place them right there so we can do the wall in between. We do need to hire some workers actually. We also had a little morgue over here and a little infirmary which shared space with a small little staff room. Let's see how big we need to make that right now. We actually don't have much room at all for a staff room so we're going to put a little tea tiny staff room in here. Luckily, we don't have any minimum size requirements, so as long as we can fit everything we need in there, we're fine. So this is just gonna be a little mini staff room with the bare minimum. Maybe we'll give them a plant too. They deserve a plant. Though, the staff room does stick out a bit more because there is a walkway. We're actually gonna stick it out too make it a little bit bigger. You see which room they're prioritizing. <laughs> So we got our kitchen going in down here. We got a canteen. We have the matching canteen, the matching kitchen. We're gonna set up the prison to hold 300 in terms of the cooking supplies, though there are only 265 cells in the OG. So we're gonna cut corners a little bit here in that in the OG had a whole other corner here which had more utilities, another staff room, another infirmary, and another morgue. So essentially what's over here too. And we have a lot of space. We're just going to have the hallway come up this way, I believe. Instead of the cells being over this way and then having this dead corner down here where we don't really need another staff room infirmary because there's also an infirmary in the middle over here too. So we're going to jump in and put it this way. This is actually gonna give some more cohesion because there is that bit that sticks out with um, cells this way that are actually entered from over here. Then there's a laundry. So we'll likely put these on the inside as well. We'll put the laundry here. We'll put those 18 cells this way. Might even do like a floor and do like nine and nine. We'll come back to that. So over here we have 26 cells. We need another 34, 35. So in the OG, there are sniper towers over here, which obviously we can't exactly fit these here. We could get a little creative here. So we have 60 cells in this area. So we've got this nice little gap, which I think is kind of cool. If we want to come up here to the roof to make it even cooler, that one's a little too big. I would like a three by one. Fine, we'll just, we'll go with you. And then we're going to essentially copy pasta all of this over to this side. So I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so we had odd numbers up here. We had 61, 61, and I made it both 60, 60 over here. So we're gonna put two extra cells back here, which we have 28 down on the bottom floor right now. So we need an extra 35, 36 on this side, and another 34 on this side to reach our basic requirement. So 
So while we went with three floors in the front of the prison, I think we're gonna stop at two here and give room for expansion. So we have, what, 20? Yeah, we have 20 here, so we need another 16. So we have 32 up here, we need four more. Also, our poor little guys are stuck. So that's three. One would fit perfectly right there. There we go. Now we've got our 70, well really 74 on this on this side of the prison. And now we're gonna go replicate it over here that we're only gonna need uh, 72 cells on this side. So to go with the symmetrical look, we're going to do 10 rows here. So 20 cells instead of uh, 22 like on the other side. And then we'll do our four over here. There we go. All right, so I think we're gonna place our perimeter wall and then we'll do the cells. In fact, actually, let me go and decorate one. Well, we'll do a pair of cells right here. There we go, there's our cell. Woo! That's yes! right. pretty good. So one thing to note is the perimeter wall is actually double around this whole prison, which we're going to do that, but we're not gonna do that quite here in the front. We can't put a door then. So I think we're actually going to indent this and just do the one layer there. And then we're gonna get a little unique with the doors because the map is not a double line. Like this is the center of the map. And so we're gonna put a door here and a door here. So they're two separate doorways. There we go. And then we're gonna build areas over here for um, delivery, garbage, export, storage, which I currently have right here, is actually in a building over here by the laundry. And there's a kennel over here too. So we'll be doing that. And all of our cells are completed. I did do some math wrong. We should be at 248 right now. We're at 242. So obviously I forgot six cells somewhere. I'm quite happy with the look of things right now. So instead of trying to squeeze in six more cells somewhere, we're going to add it to that uh, cell block that's gonna come out right here. And so instead of having 17, we're gonna have 23 cells. And I think that's fine. Let's actually go back on this. We'll take away this one, put the cell back because then we can have a window in every one of these cells. So those are kind of like the special cells. Okay, so we are at capacity. We have 265 cells and they're all looking rather spiffy. So we're going to go build the canteens and the kitchens next. And our canteens and kitchens are finished. We'll still need to place lights everywhere as well as run electrical and uh, water. That will be done off camera. On to next. In the original design, offices are kind of everywhere. There's a bunch of foremans. There's a bunch of psychologists. We don't need more than one. All right, so we need a dog kennel over here, a kennel over here. There was some parole over here too, though I might switch that over to this side. Then it's kind of closer to the entrance, which makes more sense in my mind. We do need to build a, another staff room over here. And then there was like a little holding cell and a little tiny infirmary, like right off the yard here. We might try to squeeze those in or, ooh, that's what I could do. I could actually move them up here onto the roof above the canteen and then have stairs going up to them. I like that idea because then we just have more room here for the yard. Mm, maybe I actually just like build a full on little public bathroom here. So they're getting an upgrade. Okay, so I have gone ahead and given us our yards. I've also put up a lot of wallpapers and floors. What we still need though is all the extra stuff. So in the Prison Architect 1, over here, we had a whole bunch of psychologist offices, which we don't need a whole bunch of psychologist offices in PA2, so we won't be building those. But we do, however, need a common room. There's an armory and security. There was also another break room. There was another power plant, but we don't really need another power PlayStation because if we look here, we're, we have almost 12,000 available. And once 
we grab a warden, I'm going to grab the bureaucracy that ups their power even more. We're going to be fine with just two. So let's get started on this little area over here. The reason I put the staircase here is I do want to give the warden the office right here, like a huge office where they can look out the windows over the yard. And then maybe we'll have another staircase up that goes to another watchtower. There were like two little sniper towers here, so maybe we'll put one on top of this. Okay, so over here we still need our holding cell and our an infirmary. We also have a staff break room over here as well. In the original, there's also a classroom over here. Actually, there's two classrooms and another common room. So we're gonna drop all of those in here as well. So that's gonna be our staff room. Um, sorry guys. There you go. The holding cell actually had four bunk beds in it. We're gonna have no room for toilets. We're just gonna leave it at three, honestly, I think. Um, just, just leave it at that. They get two toilets. They can have a single shower. So we're probably gonna give them just a small bunch. That works. It's a very basic holding cell, but you can control how many inmates come into your prison now, which was something that wasn't quite so easy back then. Okay, so we're looking pretty good over here. Over in this area, there is, let me double check, another common room, another classroom. So that's what we'll put over here. And that there's also more offices, but again, we have all our offices here. We don't need more offices here in Prison Architect 2. We need a laundry right here. We also need parole here. And then in this corner, we have a common room and then the parole. So I think we're gonna have our parole have entrances on the outside. I suppose this last one will be a six by seven. Here we go, we'll fit a fourth parole office in. Or should we just do the three and then have an indent into our, yeah, let's do that. There we go. We've got our three parole offices. What we also need back here though is storage, believe it or not. We have our storage across the street, but we're gonna put it over here and we'll leave it as a first floor only. All right, so that's our storage. Let's actually mark it as storage. Actually, we're pretty much done, which is fortuitous news because this has been a very long time to make. For our deliveries and such, I could build buildings over here. In the OG, they are buildings and then there's sniper towers on the other side which i think is a little bit of overkill for us i think what i'm going to do actually i'm going to do fenced areas feel free to turn it into a building yourself if you would so desire and then in terms of security because we do need to put metal detectors down we don't have any metal detectors in our prison on second thought looking at this we took out a staff room. Actually, we took out two staff rooms. There's a staff room in this corner and a staff room in this corner. We're actually gonna go up to this floor and build a little staff room here. Well, not maybe not quite so little, but we're gonna build a staff room. Is this considered complete? 
possibly yes in terms of the fact that we are matching fairly well to the OG in my opinion. You could definitely add more here. You could put another card tower here. You could put doorways onto the rooftops and have patrols go around this way. If you really wanted, you could have a walkway stretching out over this pathway, aiming and looking down into both yards. We have 265 inmate slots. I could have squeezed in so many more cells here. Could have gone up. You could switch out the luxury uh, beds for bunk beds, though with the fact that the rooms are so small, that can create issues in terms of they don't get enough privacy, and so it's gonna be harder to manage. And plus, if we go looking around the map, there's still some room to expand here. Just because you're in a holding cell doesn't mean you don't get the nice wooden floors, right? Right. Actually, we you know what we could do. We will make this room just a wee bit nicer. We'll give them a second shower in case they need it. And then we'll go and drop in. We'll drop a TV in here. And then we'll also put a bookcase in. I like it. This is done. Here is the OG. And it has room to grow just like the OG did in Prison Architect 1. It grew with the game. I would love to see this one grow with the game. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that little button if you would like to subscribe and that little bell if you would like to get notified when we do more videos because this is not the end of this series. There's still more coming from me as well as several other content creators that y'all have seen before on this on the Prison Architect channel. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day and please, do you think I did the OG justice? Let me know.